Hi USPCA members. We put together this little tutorial to help you get the most out of using our new membership app for the upcoming conference. Let's start with downloading the app. Go to either the Apple or the Android Google Play stores and search for USPCA and download the app. Great news, it's free. Now once you've downloaded the app, open it. The first page that opens is the login page. You can select from LinkedIn, Twitter, and Google Plus, and many more are to come. I log in with LinkedIn since that's my preferred business social network. Entering my email and password gains access to the app and uploads my photo and related information. Once I'm in the app, the first page that opens is the news feed. News feeds are push notices from the association that send you the latest association news whether the app is open or not. Now if you look at the upper left corner of the page, you'll see three bars. Those bars always take you to the main page. Select them now. Now this takes us back to the main page. You'll see connections, and there'll be a little bit more on that later, the membership directory, and events. We're going to focus on events, and let's select that now. This will open a page that includes the conference, as well as all the chapter meetings that we know about. Let's select the annual conference. Well, this takes us back to the main, main page, but you'll see now it opens all the options for the annual conference. We'll review each of those in the order that they appear. Now, the first up is the lobby. Lobby is like newsfeed. It's current information pushed from the office, but it's related solely to the conference and goes only to those who are in attendance. Now let's go back to those three bars at the top and go back to the main event page and now select People. Here you'll see a list of all members of the association. Those who have opted in to the app can be identified by uploaded photos. If you scan up to the two heads at the upper right corner, you can change the view to see everyone, just the conference participants, or your connections, and we'll address your connections in just a moment. For now, let's select everyone, and it opens the full membership screen. Scroll down, and we'll select Shaf Amadeus and open his profile. You can see here where you can connect, send him an email, take notes, tweet, basically create your virtual friendship. Now let's go back to the main page, those three bars at the top, and select the schedule. The first day that appears will always be the first on Thursday. But at the day date, you'll see arrows on either side of the day to allow you to move forward or backwards in the schedule. Now let's scroll to the calendar icon at the top right. This opens a window to show the various ways to view the schedule. The full schedule, the schedule you will build, or the list of content categories and their related color codes. For this exercise, we'll select the full schedule and move to the day Friday. Now on Friday, let's select the gluten-free class to explore. The first thing you'll notice is the time, the room location, and the session category. Remember that color coding a moment ago. We'll show you the event map to find your room a bit later in the tutorial. Next, you'll see two primary actions, My Schedule and Rate. Selecting My Schedule adds this particular program to your schedule. Going through each class and selecting those you will attend will help you build your own personal class calendar. Now, the last step you take after you finish a class is to rate it. It's a simple three-unit rating system with room for personal comments. Most important, you can submit it anonymously if you so desire. And you can do it immediately after the session, not waiting until you hear from us days after the conference. Now we'll go back to the class and scroll down to where we'll see the two speakers. Let's select Donna for the presentation. Her profile comes up, and like the member list, we can connect and email to her, basically add her to our friend list. But as we scroll down through her background, we'll see two other links. One for her website to learn more about her, and one for her presentation slides. Let's select the presentation slides. The app will open her presentation as a PDF and any other information she has submitted, like recipes, will appear here as well. Now let's move back to the top of the page where we'll see a small box with an arrow inside at the upper right. Let's select it. This opens options to print, copy, email, basically take the attachments and put them into a format that suits your needs well before the conference. Now let's go back to the main page, the three bars again, and select event information. This provides the basic information for the event itself. Select the address and it pulls up a map with the hotel location. It's a handy tool if you're driving. Now go back and select the calendar. Here you can upload the event into your device calendar. Now let's go back to the main menu 
those three bars, and let's select the event map. If you're wondering where your class is located, here's the place to find it. Yes, the picture at the outset is a bit small, but remember, you can pinch the screen to enlarge it and find where you need to be. The great thing about a mobile device. Now go back to the main menu, those three bars again, and select Sponsors. In this case, we'll select National Registry. Like Contacts, everything you need to know about Sponsors is located here, and this enables me to connect with them before, during, and after the conference. One last time for those three bars, and let's take a look at the main menu. And at the very bottom, barely visible, is Twitter. Now we encourage you to use social media throughout the conference. If you didn't include Twitter at your initial login, you'll be asked to connect here. It's painless, and when you tweet, we've made it easy by adding the conference hashtag to each tweet automatically. So there you have it. USPCA has taken a leap into this century while respecting many of the traditional ways of managing a conference experience. We just hope this one makes it that much better.